Do you like sides? Do you like scrolling? Do you like platforms? Then you are gonna dig Archibald's Adventures. Snag it! Snag it! Oh yeah! Archibald's Adventures, a game about a boy that goes to a house, and it's a house that's owned by a mad scientist, and you have to go through all this insanity to help him out, uh, and obviously the levels that you play are much larger than what the house would appear, and I'm also like, why would anybody build a house like this in the first place? Why, you ask? because they want to have an awesome side-scrolling puzzle platform game, which is exactly what Archibald has in this. This is one of those games I discovered long ago. It's just an absolute gem of the game. The music is cool. Puzzles sometimes can be a little frustrating. I've actually had to go online se uh, several times to find solutions to them. And some of them are built specifically on timing and can get so frustrated. It reminds me of like old Atari or SNES or uh, regular NES games where you would, <laughs> I mean man you wanted to break the tv or the controller or just the whole system in and of itself and this is where you know you would catch those fits that kids would throw um on you know a viral video i sometimes feel like archibald's adventures are a product of that environment but at the same time minus that aspect of it because some people actually don't mind playing games like that where you actually have to figure, you know, trial and error. You have to figure out how to get, how to solve a, an issue, a problem in the game, which sometimes I kind of like that. I love the fact that sometimes with games like this, you have to develop other different ways to figure out how to overcome the solution. The graphics on it, you know, it's not 4K. It's not, you know, cyberpunk. 27 to 7 uh what did i just say 7 to 7 i'm not even sure but it's the graphics are actually perfect for the game i wouldn't want graphics any other way raking the grass you guys did a top-notch job with this game if you guys want to play a game where you can actually sit down and spend hours on a you know playing a side scroller this is the game for you if you want to play a fun little game where maybe you sit down and pull it out for about, you know, 15 minutes to play it just to kind of take your mind off of, you know, the paper you're writing or the book or, you know, something like that. Just take a little time away. This is the game for you. Uh, there's lots of cool little things that you get in here, like the bubble that you use. Or I love rolling around in the, you know, little metal ball. And I love how Archibald hangs his arm out like he's just chilling as he's rolling up the side of, you know, the screen on this thing. Uh, at one point, you get to play the doctor, which that can... Uh, there are times where I'm like, this is really frustrating. But then there are times where I'm like, this is really fun because it's a totally different game mechanic than it is with Archibald. So, with all of that said, this is a game that I would definitely snag. You should snag it up right now. I got it a long time ago. Uh, I had to rebuy it or repurchase it on Steam. Um, I forgot where I got it the first time. Uh, and I, I hopefully it's still on Steam. I mean, I have it still on there. That's how I play it now. Uh, 
when I do play it. I think, um, you know, I have two little ones, and when they get older and really get into games, uh, it's something that I'll introduce them to. Uh, but it's almost like taking a bite out of the past because uh, sometimes I, I love those old side scrollers, man. So, Archibald's Adventures. If you like quirky, if you like fun, if you like thought provoking, if you like sides, and if you like scrolling, uh, grab this game. I say thought provoking not because it's making you think deep thoughts about the story, but thought provoking in the fact that you've actually, it provokes your thinking to overcome uh, some of the levels. Sometimes you can figure them out just like that. Other times it really is trial and error and you have to go through and you have to pay attention to things and timing. Once again, some of those levels, your timing has to be spot on perfect. So if you're patient enough to play a game like that and not destroy your computer or your gaming system, whatever you're playing, Archibald's Adventures. Archibald's Adventures, huge snag it. Peace.